Hey guys, I'm back. I'm doing another anime review on what I call Masterpiece, which is my all-time favorite anime. It is definitely top, top two, top two, like definitely hands down. This anime is well done, everything about it. But before I go any further, I do have a special surprise for you guys. I have this amazing clip that I made just for you guys on this anime just to show you how much I like it but before I show it to you guys I have to kind of explain Noragami what's Noragami what is it about so without further ado here we go Noragami is about this up-and-coming god he does a lot of weird requests trying to become famous and more well known because the more well known you are the more money the more money you can buy things like a shrine and not live on the streets and not dig through trash cans like kind of has to do but another reason why this is all kind of hard for him is because he has an incredibly dark past which you will learn a lot about and through everything while he's on one of his little missions well not missions while he's on one of his little eh, I guess you can call it a mission screw it so while he's on one of his little missions to find this cat he gets rescued by this girl that's trying to rescue him from getting hit by a bus well little did she know he's a god and a bus isn't enough to kill him so she ends up getting hit by this bus, and now she is caught between two worlds. She is caught between the living and the dead. And the nasty little side effect for that is your soul pops out of your body randomly, and she has zero control over that. So she has to deal with this, which is has to be rather annoying because i don't know what i would do if i'm just like randomly walking and just soul pops out but he tells her that he will help her little dilemma but for five cents five whole cents i mean oh, i don't i'd have to work like you know 10 jobs and just like you know for five cents so anyways for five cents, he says he'll fix her. So, while he's looking for this fix, amongst, you know, also trying to get his name out, he runs into a person that he then deems worthy enough for a weapon. And it is, it is f fantastic, like, how that whole thing happens and the story behind this weapon. But... The thing is, without a weapon, he is completely useless. He cannot kill any of these crazy monsters that is running amok. And the thing is about these monsters, they're not your typical, you know, enemy monsters. These monsters feed on emotions. And they are like that negative thought that you have in your head. So, and what happens is they feed on these emotions and get people to act on impulses and things that they normally would not do and to kill those monsters will rid those people of those thoughts and in some cases might even save them so amongst their journey he quickly figures out something is wrong and has to try to figure out how to fix it and <laughs> Not only that, but he's now being hunted by another god that really, really hates him. He has kind of... He has a dark past, but he has an even darker past with his god. He has a little bit of a history, and she really, really wants to kill him. So now, he's trying to keep this girl out of this crazy stuff, while trying not to die, while trying to fix her. So it's it's pretty it's pretty insane all the things he has to do just to help this one girl but it gets better his past now starts to come back and haunt him and that's when all of the twists and turns start to happen 
Uh, it's it's insane. You think you're going right, but then you start going left, but then like you know you start going down, but then there's an up, and then you're just like, what the hell is going on? And then before you know it, you're like, oh, but then oh, and then oh no, and then it's just crazy. What I'm trying to say, it's a roller coaster. You literally go on a roller coaster, and it's extremely well done, and I absolutely love this anime, and that is why it's part of my top favorite animes. What I'm talking about is season one. This this all happens in season one. There's two seasons. I'll be covering season two in my next video. But as for right now, I'm only going to be doing season one. So without further ado, I'm pretty sure I told you guys enough about this anime and you want to watch this little clip. So here it is. Here's this amazing clip that I've promised you guys. <laughs> guys enjoyed that clip i had a lot of fun making it it took a lot a lot of time to make and if you enjoyed this whole video make sure you do the thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe i'm going to be making a lot more of these and until the next review i'll see you later